it's Mike Mixtape, and this is the 500 subscriber Q&A, yeah. and to this video, I have five more, so I have 505 subscribers, so thank you for subscribing so much. Uh, glare, glare alert. God, I hate the glare, because I'm looking at my computer, because it has the questions, so I'm going to just go like this, maybe, look really sophisticated, maybe, I don't know. Um, yes, yeah, so thanks for the people who sent questions, and I got 16 of them here to, to read and answer, and, um, if you want me to do more Q&A videos like this, please leave a question down in the comments below for a future one, and with that, let's get into the questions, and I'll give you the answers to. Uh, first one is from Brian, uh, this is hilarious, because I've, I've seen this question around so many times, it's... What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? How about I answer Siri for that? Or my phone? What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? According to Saratoga.com, in the end, it's concluded that the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow is about 24 miles per hour or 11 meters per second. There you have it. <laughs> There's the answer to that question. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, next one is from Devin. She asks, if you, if I had the opportunity to get any guest to come on the podcast, Cinema Royale, who would it be and why? And that's the thing with me. It's like, it's any guest. And it's the, the sky is the limit. I'm thinking like, it's just like, for a movie podcast, you could, because we talk about films and it's, it's a podcast, not an interview, so it's not like I'm going to get a, some big name actor, director, or whatever, somebody in the film biz to be on the podcast to be a guest. It, I think for me, for a guest, it has to be like an internet personality, like someone like a YouTuber, someone from like Channel Awesome maybe, you know. As long as the guest has a uh, has any association with film, like a certain topic in general, because I try to have a topic uh, association with a, the guest, because sometimes I don't want to bring a guest that for a topic they don't know. So uh, with that, I think that's going to be a thing. Like, there's so many great people out there to have as a guest. It's like, I would go crazy with guests, but that's the thing with the podcast. You don't want to over drought the podcast with guests once in a while it's okay but for any guest it's like like it, that's that's like asking what's your favorite movie or what's your like if you had kids like what's your favorite kid it's like there's so many great people out there you want as a guest and why would I choose it's very difficult to choose like I'm trying to think of any people I mean, there's some people in my head that I would like to, like, there's, I watch a lot of reactors, a lot of, re, uh, a lot of reaction videos, there's a lot of reactor people out there, like, Tyro Magnus, uh, Greg Elba from The Real Rejects, maybe, Akasan from Japan, um, um, I don't know, it's something like that, because, the reactors I watch are kind of interesting because they react to movie trailers and they talk about movies once in a while. I'm thinking, okay, what if I had them on on the podcast as guests? You know, they can talk about movies. You know, they don't talk about movies a lot because they, they, they would do reviews sometimes, but they just react to trailers and that would be interesting to see what their input is on movies depending on the topic. So, yeah, I think the answer would be like probably some reactors that are on YouTube like Tyrone... Like I said before, Akasan, uh, Greg Elba from The Real Rejects, um, Jabby Kuwe maybe, I don't know. There's so many, there's so many great people out there, I swear. It's like, this, this, you, YouTube is a great community with full of awesome people to have guests, so, yeah. Thanks for that question, Devin. Uh, uh, another question from Devin was, uh, do you prefer music or movies? And here's the thing with me, I've grown as a person, um, throughout my life, uh, I guess, uh, growing up, it's been movies, I remember watching 
movies as a kid. Um, and then I got into music a little bit more, uh, especially like in eighth grade or so, like in junior high where I discovered the 80s in general. You know, I listened to more 80s music. I fell in love with the 80s. Um, music was a little bit thing like during uh, junior high and high school. Uh, yeah, junior high and high school was like music for me because I was listening to more music. Uh, on the bus ride to school, they would be a uh, they would have the radio uh, bus ride would have a radio on during the bus ride because I'm the first one they pick up, and I would listen to the morning show all the time, and that's kind of why I wanted to become a radio personality because it's like, huh, they're talking on the radio, they're behind the microphone, and they're playing music. That's the best job in the world and that's why I want to pursue that um, movies like I said music was still going around uh, even like six years ago in 2010 where I started to create my online profile you know online persona um, I started I tr experimented with a review series where I uh, review uh, music videos and for copyright reasons that didn't really work out now because I tried to upload it on YouTube and copyrights pop up because I didn't have the right balance for fair use, I guess. It's, where's the fair use? <laughs> um, yeah, so I got into music videos. Music videos are kind of a little short form art form that kind of, kind of stepped into movies a little bit more because then eventually when I transitioned from... Uh, music, uh, getting away from music videos, I was like, you know what, I should talk about movies. I guess I dived right into movies, like, and as I was, do as I started doing Cinema Royale with the guys, with James, Matt, and Morgan, I discover movies that are just amazing, you know, I discover, that's the thing with the podcast, I discover new movies, old movies, and I just appreciate the genre more, not the genre, but the, the media more in general and I understand the behind the scenes stuff a little bit more too like like six years ago I didn't know what a cinematographer was I didn't know what cinematography was but now I know what cinematography is and it's amazing for what it is um, so it's kinda like a balance of both actually music and movies I like so cuz right now actually I'm doing the podcast cinema royale which I love watching movies with the guys and you know talking about it and then of course I'm in college right now where I'm on the radio, college radio station, and I love listening and discovering music that way because the station I, that I volunteer at has a lot of different music that I grew to love. Uh, yeah, because there's a lot of music I had to play on the air, so I was like, like ooh, this is a good song, oh, that's a good song, so I'm discovering there, right now it's a balance right now, so that, that music and movies is actually both right now. Like it's, it's 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 it used to be movies and music, but I'm thinking it's like both. It's a tie. It's a fair balance of both, and then like TV shows is like, like behind that just barely. Like TV nowadays is kind of yeah, that's a different topic in general. Uh, then I got a few questions from Film Inspector on YouTube, so thanks for these questions. Uh, first off is why do you barely talk in the podcast? Here's the key thing about the podcast. Uh, depending on the topic, <laughs> it's weird how I, cho I, cho I choose these topics, but sometimes with life, I don't get enough research to talk about um, these topics. So in some episodes there will be total silence for me because I have no idea what to talk about besides my own movie you know like for example if you listen back to the Muppets episode I've seen this like few of Muppet movies but th the whole crew was they're huge Muppet fans and they just talked about the Muppets a lot you know in some cases like I only watch my movie and I never watch everybody else's movie so I don't know how to you know convey and that's why sometimes I say I have not seen that movie to be honest and that's why I don't talk much because I just uh, hear what they have to say about it and that's the case with some episodes because 
we do a topic, we research it, and sometimes we do research together, and sometimes we do it solo, and it depends on how much time we have in our lives, we can try to do all the research we can for the episode, and if we have not, if, if we have not seen the, the movie that the person's talking about, that's a great way for the, that person to express the movie and suggest it, you know, either to watch it or not, and that's what makes me go watch it afterwards on the podcast. So, yeah, sometimes I will talk about the, um, it depends on the topic, and so I'm the host, so I try to talk as much as I can, and I'm working on that now, so I'm working on trying to be more corporate with the podcast. I know it's kind of awkward not hearing zip for me sometimes, but I do get passionate about certain movies and topics. Like, there's, there's quite a few episodes where I do passionately talk about movies, so... You just have to look for look for the right ones, or actually just watch them all and just see what happens. You know, uh, <laughs> like I said, what's your favorite movie? Ah, uh, favorite movie. Um, it's it's hard to pick a favorite movie because it changes a lot. Like it depends on the type of day it's on, and uh, God, favorite movie. Like <laughs> it's funny. It's funny, because if you listen to the uh, favorite films episode, like our two-year anniversary uh, episode last year, I said that go The Golden Child was my favorite movie. And even though I like Eddie Murphy and The Golden Child, it's not exactly my favorite. It's one of my favorites, but not the favorite movie. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, for me, the, the favorite movie in my opinion, has to be something that, I, that I've seen so many times, and it's quotable, and actually, to be honest, I think I know what my favorite movie is, and it's Back to the Future. Because I've watched that movie so many times, and I quote it. Like, I often quote with the movie, like, I try to, because I know what the, the next line is in the movie, so Back to the Future, to me, is my favorite movie. Um... The first one it is. I like the trilogy, but Back to the Future, like, like, like I said, I know the the first movie front to back most likely. Like, like I'll watch it and I'll quote it as it plays out. Back to the Future Two is not bad. It's interesting, and three is good. But the first one just like, first one has it for me. Like that's just mm, so good. Uh, the most quotable. Uh, another film that I quote a lot. Uh, try to quote, very quotable indeed, is Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. That's another favorite of mine. That's that has the most great quotes from it, and that's right. That's another one I like, too. So, uh, Lastly, from Film Inspector was, what's your favorite podcast in Royal you made? Uh, up to this point, we've made 75 episodes. I know if you're watching this now... I made a flub on the 76th episode about Wizard of Oz's adaptations. That's, uh, that's a whoopsie by me because I didn't check the rendering so that there's no sound in it. So uh, the next episode coming up this week, Friday, that we're recording is the new one. Hopefully it's going to be peachy. But uh, anyways, just a little sidetrack there. Um, uh, favorite one I made. I should, I should double check the list I have because uh, there's so many. Like I'm trying to think of my favorite favorite one I've done. Um, uh, I'm trying to think because it depends on the crew and who's available. Like uh, I don't see the early episodes, season one to be particular, are totally um. Well, most of season two, actually, too, I think. Because for season one and two, I think that was the point where, where we didn't do research. We just did, like, we looked at the Wikipedia list for the topic and kind of looked through it. And it's like, hmm, let's talk about this in general. It's like, it's more like a editorial episode, I would say, because we don't exactly go deep, deep, deep into it, like research films and talk about films of the genre. I think we don't do that until... Uh, uh, maybe episode 31 when we did TV shows based on movies because we kind of, I kind of gave everybody, you know, research, you know, a handful of shows to watch based on movies. 
Um, see, that's the thing with favorite episodes. It's like, uh, there's running gigs for different episodes too. Like, uh, episode twenty eight for sequels reloaded the second part of sequels we did there's that running game about debbie you know debbie does it dallas you know <laughs> matt and debbie that's great uh you know m episodes that involve a running joke with us like it's it's amazing how i created a podcast and we've created these running jokes with each other within the podcast we mention debbie a lot we mention like uh like i said uh favorite films of our birth years, uh, episode 33 is like where the fluffy cow came from, and it's just funny to, you know, um, Samuel Jackson, to be honest, episode 35 actually was a really good episode, because that's where you hear Matt swear the most. <laughs> that's a good one. And actually, that's when I did my Donald Duck impression, Donald Duck impression doing uh, the Ezekiel 2517 from Pulp Fiction. That was hilarious. I made Matt crack up so bad, and everybody else. That was a good one. That's a, that's a favorite one of mine. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to think because it's far and few. God, yeah, it's it's kind of rare because some of these are hit or miss sometimes. Like, we have fun recording it, but sometimes I have to revisit them. Like, I do listen to the podcast sometimes. Like, when I do stuff uh, in my life, I just, just put it on in the background, like, just to reminisce, you know, and that's why I'm kind of doing sometimes that we revisit a topic and we play it back. Um, Trilogy is episode 51 was a good one too I actually liked because I uh, talked about Crocodile Dundee that was a good one um, Dennis Hopper was a great train wreck because that was when James was in his car and the whole beginning was so fucking hilarious um, the commentaries are my favorite actually I started doing I started doing the commentaries um, last summer and that's the fun part. Like, we watch a movie and we commentate, you know, about it, do trivia facts, you know, and riff on it. That's the, that's my favorite part of the, actually the podcast is doing the commentaries with the guys. Like, that's something. Because uh, with us, with Matt Morgan, uh, Matt Morgan James and I, we often watch movies, screen movies, whatever we can, and we riff on them, you know. And if we do a commentary, it's pretty cool because we do that, plus we just talking about facts, you know, did you know stuff, like, or like a real commentary, and that's fun to do that, actually. Um, trying to think of, I think, I'm trying to think of other ones that I liked. Um, actually, I'm kind of, actually, the another one I liked that from this year, actually, was our first episode we did for season four, which was, uh, our guide to 2015 that was like really i did that really nice like that was a really good episode a really well produced one i did because we actually you know try to watch all the movies from 2015 and we just put them in categories and that was pretty cool it's just figuring out which movie was in each of their categories which is what i think we'll do that every year maybe hopefully next year we'll do uh our look back at 2016 in films that'd be pretty cool um Um, yeah, yeah, otherwise, yeah, there you go, there's your perspective on that. Uh, <laughs> my, my main man, hi my dude, uh, James actually gave me a couple of questions. Uh, you like books? <laughs> um, yes, I do like books, as you can see, I do have a bookshelf behind me, so there's a lot of books. Um, there's a mixture of books on my shelf, there's, uh, <laughs> So many different books. Like I actually, this this shelf, the shelf right here actually, uh, it has Back to the Future, Blade Runner comic, Indiana Jones comic. Um, actually, this uh, this this book right here, this book if you, you can't see it, but it's called Ron Burgundy. Let me off at the top. My classy life and other musings. That was when Anchorman Two came out, and that's like a jokey autobiography by Ron Burgundy and it's a really good book actually um actually James you actually uh you kind of made me read more too because from page to pictures actually made me look into adaptation a little bit more like that because I like to sometimes watch a movie and possibly if I get my hands on the book read it too and compare so 
uh, yeah, I do like books, James. Um, and yes, like I said, I'm in college, so the next question was like, you got your eye on any cute gals while you're in college, bro? Uh, there is amazingly a lot of hot smoking girls at college. Oh my god, there's so many. So I do eye gaze and glimpse at them once in a while, so... Uh, nobody yet, but hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I do find a cute gal to hook up with in college, so thanks for that. Um, uh, up next is Joseph Armstrong. He asks, what kind of career would you like to pursue with the skills you gain through these videos? Um these skills that I've taught myself I have not I can I sometimes I do look at stuff if I don't know what to do for skills but okay with the podcast and whatever videos I make on the on this channel it's just I don't know there's no career with it it's just a hobby it's I don't know maybe I don't know maybe I want to be like a director like, I wanted to make, like, sh movies. Like, I kind of had a little fun with that for this semester when I did my uh, media production class where I made that short film I posted about our chase scene. So that was pretty cool, kind of uh, directing that a bit. You know, I had to direct some scenes, and it was pretty cool how to say action and just get the right scenes. And I was like, that was kind of cool, actually. Um, the first project I did was kind of like a... Uh, a composite of all the shots we were supposed to use, and I didn't release that because that was just the, uh, it was a weird one. But it, I had a narrative like it was. So maybe I want to be like it's not a career, but maybe I want to be like a director on the side. I don't know, but I want to be on the radio. So that's the main thing right now. Like I want to be on the radio as a personality. I'm more of the behind the scenes kind of person. Like it depends on like I don't want people like if. If I'm producing something, like, I don't want, uh, if I'm in front of the camera, like, acting, acting for me just kind of, I don't know, it depends if there's a crowd of people, like, I do get a little nervous, like, I had to do a news piece for, uh, that class, media production, and I was, like, I'm trying to read the script I had, and I was, like, sh people were actually watching me as I was reading, and I was kind of, kind of nervous, so, um, I, I, it would be pretty cool if I can make this podcast, you know, do Cinema Royale and uh, make it more professional, you know, kind of make it high, not high class, but more, more professional, you know, uh, have, you know, I don't, editing on this thing kind of sucks. I want to, I always have a, th uh, uh, a thought, I always, I always thought about having an editor, you know, edit for me, like, because I suck at editing, and I don't like editing. Like, I can understand that editing for somebody shows them their true selves sometimes, you know, how it should show. But I don't like editing that much. I mean, depends on the project, really. Um, but yeah, if I do, if I can do Cinema Royale on a professional level, like, if I can make it so... Um, right now, it's just a group of people on Skype, and... Maybe I want to do like a, like a live version of it, you know, with a bunch of people, you know, not just with James, Matt, and Morgan. I just, maybe I want to do some kind of like, you know, have a group kind of table discussion about movies with somebody. It'd be pretty cool. Like I've seen, I've seen quite a few of those, you know, online, you know, those around a table talking, fighting movies, talking about movies. I was like, oh, I want that experience because talking over Skype is fine, but I just, you know, it'd be pretty cool to see face-to-face -face and talk about movies with people, you know? I don't know. It wouldn't be a career. It's just a hobby at this point. Um, uh, Caleb asks, besides Corey Coleman, um, he's from uh, Spill.com and Double Toasted, what other radio slash podcast host do you look up to? Uh, with Corey Coleman, I don't exactly look up to him i just do watch his stuff like he, i've watched his stuff for spill.com before he got deflunked and then uh, double toasted because he's, he's pretty cool he talks about movies he's pretty cool um but the main 
uh, influence that look up to radio hosts that I idolize pretty much is Casey Kasem. Like, Casey Kasem for me is the uh, guiding eye to everything. Like, I remember, you know, knowing about Casey Kasem, you know, hearing him. I remember listening to the America Top 40, what, America, uh, something, his Top 40 show. You know, and then I know, and then I realized he was a voice actor. I was like, wait a minute, that's pretty cool, actually. You know, he's got that voice. I remember, you know, Casey Kasem, basically. Like, oh, I can just talk about, oh, I love Casey Kasem so much. Um, I'm looking at the time on my camera, and I am almost to my limit here. So, honestly, I'm going to do a part two of this. So, thanks for asking questions. And I'll see you guys in part two.